What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Skull and Bones being delayed again. Now, this has to be some sort of sick joke because this is like the fifth or sixth time I've made this exact video. Now, of course, there's always somewhat new things to say, but this exact video, I've had to make it that uh, that amount of times on the channel. So they put out the update, and they're launching it on May 9th, 2023. So pretty sizable, right? Four months uh, from that November. I think November 8th was supposed to be the uh, the initial release. And they just talk about extra time to polish and balance the experience even further and ensure you will all get the best experience we can offer. I like how they put the most like prominent things in yellow. So important news is in yellow, best experiences in yellow. And then launch date, um, March 9th, 2023, is also in yellow. Honestly, this is pretty laughable. Now, like, there's always the thing with, you know, delays. Delays are good for the game, right? The game will come out and it'll be a, a better experience than it would have been if it, you know, released when it was going to. And, you know, I've said that over, and, and there's better ways of saying it and shorter ways of saying it than how I say it. But those are definitely true. This is a game I fully believe, though, just needs to release. I, I really feel like... This game just needs to get out here. I don't think a delay is necessarily going to help it because I honestly only half believe the reasons they give. Truly, this game comes out the same day or was going to come out the same day as Sonic Frontiers, and it was supposed to come out two days before God of War Ragnarok. I have a huge feeling, as I think a lot of us probably do, that that's the reason they delayed themselves. I, I really can't imagine that not being a reason right you released two days before god of war for spoken kicked itself right out of the year a lot of games have moved themselves to get away from god of war ragnarok and i think skull and bones just did the same thing they're two completely different games i would have bought both of them i was fully prepared to get both of them day one i do think like for me skull and bones would have been put aside to play god of war but still i would have owned it and i would still play it but I just think because this game has been around for, oh, I don't know, like seven years, I really think it just needs to get out there. By the time this game comes out in March of 2023, it'll be almost eight years since they had announced it um, at E3. So, uh, man, it's just the game needs to release. It needs to come out. People just need to play it. And if it's, if it's going to be bad, just get it over with. At this point, I mean, that's really where I'm at. It's, it's definitely counter to the, the things that I normally say, right? Where I, I'm sure, and I do think this, the four-month delay will help the game in some ways. It probably will help balancing. It'll help the polish. But the game is what the game is. It's been this way for years, over half a decade, and it's not going to change. So just get the game out at this point. And, and another reason why I only half believe it is because I know for a fact, without naming names, that people have played through this game almost entirely okay not me by the way but i'm just throwing it out there um and, and you know if they want to invite me i'd be glad to uh to jump aboard and, and be the captain of my own ship but no you know what i mean it's like people have played this game this game has been play tested this game has been you know insider tested this game has had uh you know the betas and all this i mean for the love of dear Jesus, just get this game out there and let's get it over with. You know, I'm staying with it. I, it hasn't changed. I, I'm literally, I'm going down with the ship in this case. Like I will end up going down with the ship because I, I just want to kind of see it through. And that's that. March 9th is a better time. I mean, I will, I, I'll, again, I'll give them that. If part of the reason was to get out of God of War's way and get into a, a, a period of relatively, uh, relative calmness, let's say, they did it. They did it because early March is actually pretty dead. February is busy, right? You got the beginning of February, specifically Hogwarts Legacy and all that. And then end of March is uh, Resident Evil 4's remake, I believe. And I'm sure February, March, April, those months will start to get you know more packed as the, uh, the months go on. But as of right now, early March, really until Resident Evil, March is pretty light. So this game, I think, would have a better shot to the wide audience in the beginning of March versus the beginning of November. I will I will give them that. But I would also still stay on what I just said, you know, a few minutes ago. This game is what it is. It's not changing. Four extra months I don't think is going to... Like, maybe it's small things that you notice. Maybe it's small things that you don't notice. But this is the game. And I... I man, like, I don't want to advocate, right, for making a game come out before it's ready. 
but at this point again i feel like this is almost like an exception or right? this is like a special thing where it's like this game is what it is and i i don't know what's gonna change and people have been waiting for it or haven't been waiting for it for forever this game by the way you know just in the early um comments of twitter people are laughing at it people are laughing at the delay it's become embarrassing it's become laughable and honestly it's part of the reason why you even look at like cyberpunk I mean, I get why it released when it did. I mean, yes, could you have delayed it another year? Could you have delayed Halo Infinite another year? Yes, but you also have to think about, like, the reception that these games get online. People laugh. This is embarrassing. So when you see something like Skull and Bones, and it's like, just put it out there so you can stop the, you know, these these people making fun of you. At the same time, maybe you put it out when it's not ready. But like I said, who, who knows what they're going to actually fix in this amount of time. And again, I I guess I'm being pretty hard on them because I I, I think they're partially lying. I, I think part of it is to, like, if they were being honest, they would say, yeah, you know, it's not looking great. Early November is not looking great. We don't think we're going to do all that well in early November. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to a more open period. And also, in that time, we will have time to, like, better fix the game. We'll add a little polish. That would be honest. That would be honest. This is not being honest, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. I'm still covering this game, and I still will till the end of times. And it seems like this game will never actually release. So I guess we have a little bit longer to go. But make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. And I'll see you all on the next one.